Okay, guys, this is just a quick video I wanted to share with you guys. Um, you know, I was watching this movie where about these uh, ultimate fighters, whatever, and I kept hearing this one guy say, keep moving, keep moving, never stop moving, keep moving. And um, I just was kind of uh, interested in that. So in this little episode here, I want to I wanna do this concept to keep moving. I'm going to get my head into it. I'm going to like bob my head side to side. Uh, you know, as kind of a way to, so the guy doesn't really know which way I'm going and kind of like bob the head side to side, um, in a way to, it's almost like you're, you're, you bob your head side to side looking for these openings in a sense, right? But what you're doing really by, um, by doing this, keep moving, just always move, 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 bob the head in and out, just move, move, move. What the concept I'm trying to get at here is how to engage the subconscious, the, the no mind concept, how to engage the subconscious and let the subconscious do the fighting for us. And I just feel like, um, you know, while I did this, uh, this, this fight right here, I just feel like while I was doing all that, while I was, I almost call this like uh, the, I call it uh, like the drunken monkey concept like an an extension of that and and you know uh in the animal kingdom animals fight quick man they respond so fast it's like lightning speed and that's because they do everything out of their instinct out of their subconscious instead of out of their conscious mind which is too slow uh because they're doing decision making processes so i was just playing with this kind of like being like the drunken monkey old concept where you're bouncing your head back and forth you know, you're just kind of flowing. You're just kind of uh, doing that sort of thing. And, you know, I felt like I really, it what really was allowing for like my subconscious mind to kind of make things happen quicker and make decisions without me. You know what I'm saying? So let's just watch this a little bit and just see, you know, if, if we can kind of see what I'm talking about a little bit. Now, of course, I'm going to get bebopped from time to time. Because I just got this idea after fighting for a while on VR. So then I took off the headset and I started recording. So let's just see what's up. <clears throat> so here I am kind of getting in the concept a little bit. Not as much with shaking the head, but we'll get more to that later. But just keep moving. Never stop moving. And even from time to time, I put my fist up. Kind of like in the old style, that put them up, put them up, where you kind of circle your fist up in the air. And it just felt to me like even doing that, just having my fists in motion, even though it's not the way people fight today. But, you know, if you if you bring back a, a way of fighting uh, that people don't ever see, it can throw people off their guard a little bit. So why not just try it? See how it feels. You know, the old rolling the fist up in the air. You know, you'll see me do a little bit of that after a bit. <clears throat> so here I am kind of getting into it. He nailed me. Well, let's see if I can get back in a groove a little bit. He nailed me again. Sometimes it's just hard for me to get in. Here we go. Now I'm really getting some <laughs> some drunken uh, moves here a little bit. Well, I was. I'm kind of tired too, so... But I'll get back into it as the thing progresses. This is a very short video. Here we go. We're going to play with it, right? Head back and forth. It's like you're just letting your... By, by bobbing your head back and forth, it's like your subconscious takes over the movement of your head and it looks for openings on its own without you having to get involved. That's what I felt like was happening you know, when I was able to uh, really let go and let my subconscious take over. Protect yourself at all times. Just this concept, keep moving. Look at me shaking my head around a little bit. It's interesting. <laughs> you see that? It's just something to try, guys. Just something to try. See how you feel about it. See if it makes you feel like you're 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 kind of reacting faster, you know? Bobbing the head around a little bit. Just kind of faking them out. As you see, I even kept my head on one side for a couple bobs while I was waiting for his body to move, and then I moved it out of the way. Ah, I'm getting hit a couple times there. 
But when I do get in the groove of it, I think I miss quite a, quite a lot of punches. <clears throat> Toward the end of the video, I think I, I really kind of get into that, that drunken movement a little bit better. I nailed him. And as I've told you in videos before, um, I like to kind of blur my vision a little bit, but I like to keep an eye on the face. Because when I keep an eye on the face, I always see that opening when the face is coming up totally available to hit. So I like to blur the vision, but I always like to kind of keep an eye on the face. What's happening with the face? Because then you just see an opening come so nicely. Here I'm kind of getting into it a little bit. I want you guys to tell me in your comments below, like, if, you know, if you kind of experience anything interesting doing this, if you felt yourself speed up a little bit, if you felt like you're able to, like, fight without trying in a sense. <laughs> Here I am really playing with it. And that's it. Lucky, lucky. Comment. Subscribe now.